Welcome to another lesson by YourTechVision.com and today I'm actually going to show you how to do a virtual lesson. We're doing Braille, I'm doing Braille reading with a student and so I'm going to go ahead and text her and let her know uh, I am ready and then she will uh, call me. So she has her Braille book at home and then I have the exact same book that she is reading um, on my iPad. Good morning, Kaylee. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, okay. Okay, I think we're we're good to go. Okay, okay, so we're on the paragraph, but when I caught sight? Um, yes. Okay, go ahead, begin. But when I caught sight of the sack he had left behind, I took my I told myself he was he was bound to return, if not for me, for it. Sure enough, he did. What's what's more, a, la a large fat rabbit dangled from his hands. There, Saint Crispin, he said when he came into view, a great grin on his red bearded face. Now you can see that for good or ill, I always keep my word. He untied me, f um, faint from standing so long. My arms ached from being tied. I immediately sat down. Okay, I want to go back. I want you to go back to ache. It's aching. A C H sign. I N G sign. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Do you know the penalty for poaching, he said, as he worked his dagger skillfully to skin the rabbit. I was so angry, I only shook my head. To feed us, I've put both our lives in jeopardy, he said. That's the kind of freedom that exists in this kingdom. With, with faint... Uh oh, F L I N sign, so it's a lower I T, flint. With flint, um, steel, and tinder, he made a, um, a fire, which he told me to, to start with bits. Oh, go back. S T sign, O K E, stoke. Stoke with bits of wood. Then he took up the rabbit, um... Spitted it. It means that he uh, put it on a, a, a stick, a stick that goes all the way through the rabbit to uh, hang over a fire to cook it, okay? Uh-huh. Spitted it and soon had it roasting. Do you like meat, he said, seeing me with my mouth agape? I've only e eaten it. A few times I um, confessed. A few times he laughed uproariously. Ah, Crispin, the blessed saints were kind when they guided you to me. For my part, I love meat. After a moment, I said, but you gave me no choice but to stay with you. His eyes flashed with anger, enough so that I regretted I had spoken. But then, as happened so often with him, he laughed. Crispin, do you know why my hat is split into two parts? No. Like all men with a skill, I wear the livery of my trade. For me, the two-part hat informs the world that there's more than a simple nature residing in my soul. There's bad and good. But I am only bad, I thought to myself, wishing yet again I knew what sin was embedded in me to have brought God's hand so hard upon me. Crispin, said Bear, a wise man, he was a jester by trade, once told me that living by answers is a form of death. It's only questions that keep you living. What think of you that? I don't know, I said. 
Think of it, for we shall soon be passing out of this zone of desolation. From here on, as God is good, many living villages shall appear. They'll be small, but if we labor well, we can survive, you and I. Will you join me? I give you the freedom to choose. You're my master, I said. I have no choice. Crispin, decide, he barked. I shook my head. It's not for me to do do so. Should not every man be master of himself, he asked. You made me call you master. His face grew redder than it normally was. You're a willful fool, he bellowed. Clearly frustrated, he poked the fire. You'll go. As you command, I said. He frowned, but only said, Before we get there, you'll need to learn some things. What? Time enough for that tomorrow. Go to sleep. Without further ado, he lay down. From the... P-O-U-C-H. Pouch. Pouch around my neck. I took out my cross of lead and upon my knees prayed it. Prepared. Prepared. Pre Go ahead. Prepared to hey, pray. Beautiful. What are you doing? I heard him ask. I looked over my shoulder, praying. What's that in your hand? A cross of lead.